Today, we're just gonna go ahead and edit a photo of a squirrel. Let's open up this photo right here. We'll hit edit. First things right off the bat, I need to get the crop right because I got a lot of negative space down here and a lot of uh, negative space up here. So we'll go ahead and hit C and we will pull this in. I think this is actually a pretty good crop. I might pull in a little bit from this side just so I can get and maybe even pull down. Now, I know some people, they don't believe in cropping their image because they're losing sensor size. Look, I'm here to tell a photo story or a story with my photo. Okay, so here we are with this little squirrel. I'm gonna hit AI Auto, see what On1 decides to do. On one does a pretty good job, actually. Um, I, I'm not mad at that. So see if there is, ah, yeah. Go for a little bit more of a dramatic, or you can go a little bit more of uh, like, what is this? More, not vibrant, um, bright. And I can also go with the landscape there. You know, it, those greens look really, really fake. So I'm gonna have to tone those down if I go with this. But I do like the browns and the saturation that's coming out. So that gives me an idea. Uh, what I'm gonna do is go with the, I think I'm gonna go with the portrait. Yeah, I'll go with portrait. All right, so I'm good with what AI Auto did. Let's get into the effects and start editing this photo a little bit further. So hit add. And the very first thing that I wanna do is really get the colors right. So I'm gonna use a color adjustment and I'm going to grab the picker tool, come over here and I'm just gonna play around with this. And I think maybe, no, don't wanna to go too red. Maybe we wanna go no. All right, maybe just a little bit of that. And since I know where I'm at, I'm gonna go ahead and mess around with this. I just wanna get that orange in the squirrel's fur to pop a little bit. And maybe darken it, uh, brighten it. Nah, I don't like it brighter. I like it darker. Okay. So that one is for the squirrel's fur. Now, what I've been doing lately is taking color adjustments and making multiple adjustments. In this one, I'm gonna go ahead and hit fall. Nope, that doesn't do. So I don't like the extra saturation that's there. So what I'm gonna do is actually move this more towards a yellow fill and then remove some of that saturation, come over to the yellow and make that more. Uh, I want the grass to be more yellow because this is in the fall. The squirrel is probably gathering nuts for the winter. Uh, and that's probably good. Okay, so now I have my two adjustments uh, and I think I got the colors the way that I want. So now we're gonna go to local adjustments. I'm gonna start making some adjustments to the squirrel himself. So the first one that I wanna do is actually open up some shadows on him a little bit and add in a little bit of structure. Yep, there's Mr. Waffles. And we're gonna do this at a low opacity. I got it at 10%. And I'm just going to paint this in over his tail just to see what I can get. And just keep building it up little by little. The tail's gonna get a little bit brighter. It's gonna become more defined. Now I'm gonna go 50% with the same brush. I'm going to come over his coat and over the face. Now, his face is actually pretty well lit. The only reason why I'm doing it is to open up 
whatever shadows may be on there just a little bit and then add in some structure so now i'm going to add another adjustment and this time i am going to add in just structure and i'll contrast it a little bit this time i'm going to paint in at 80 percent with a larger brush because i want this to be just kind of a broad stroke okay and that is good for there now i need to adjust his eyes i'm gonna go and get my magic eye fixer because it's all you need i'm gonna zoom in here and then make my brush size a little bit smaller put it over his eye yeah, that should be good yeah get that going zoom out and I'm going to add in one more adjustment for the squirrel himself and this time it's going to be a light and filter and we're at 80 percent again and this time just and i'm going to dial that back right here we'll just go ahead and pull that back because that is way too much. And we'll even pull back on this. There we go. Now that that's not too bad. And we'll throw in some more structure. Uh, I'm trying to overcompensate a little bit, but uh, that's okay. Now we're gonna throw in a vignette. And the way I like to make my vignettes is by using uh -oh. the radial filters come on catch up with me computer okay and then i'm just going to drag this out a bit And now I have my backyard wildlife photo all ready to go. So there's before, uh -oh. let's close that down. Here's before, it's a dark photo. And here is after with all the adjustments that I wanted to do. Now, one other thing that I could do is I could come into effects, add a filter, and I can go with a photo filter and instead of blue we'll get one of these more orange looking colors and this is something that i do with with all my fall photos uh, just adding in a little bit of a warmer tone to the image and you know in this case maybe instead of applying to all we'll apply to the shadows and then we can bring it back up and that just gives us a little bit of a warmer tone in our shadows. So when you turn this off and on, you can see it just kind of ties everything in with what's going on. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, smash the like button, consider hitting subscribe. If you want more content, check the video on the screen. Until the next time, stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.